So does your boss send out message after message at all hours of the day and night and expect you to respond at a moment's notice? No, I'm not talking about Trump's 3 a.m. tweet storm. Sarah Huckabee Sanders is on her own there. I'm talking about work emails. You know, the ones that come in while you're eating dinner, running errands, sometimes when you're getting ready for bed, and you just have to respond. That feeling, by the way, is called telepressure, which, if you can believe it, is not the headache you get after watching too many hours of Greater Boston. It's the pressure to answer work communications at any hour of the day or night, but help may be on the way with something called a right to disconnect law. City councilors in New York City proposed one last month. How it works is it would ban companies with 10 or more workers from forcing their employees to answer work emails, texts, and calls after they clock out. If companies don't comply, they could be charged at least 250 bucks each time. And I say it's about time. The digital age has brought us a lot of great things like, like ride sharing, online shopping, and of course, Walmart yodeling. Exactly. Now, but the age of instant communication has also brought us close to a 24-hour workday, spending as much as 78% of Monday through Friday working or thinking about work, and more than 40% of days off still mentally plugged in, according to 2016 study by Adobe. And I know something about this, because in the spirit of full disclosure, one I embrace as infrequently as possible, I might or might not be guilty of sending one or two of those after-hours emails myself. But it's time to claw back a little work-life balance. And a right to disconnect law is a great start. The next step, don't rely on the law. Make it part of company culture. You can think of Tesla and CEO Elon Musk as an example of what not to do. Earlier this week, Musk tweeted that as the company struggles to meet some of his production goals, quote, I'm back to sleeping at factory. Car biz is hell. Car biz is hell? I bet the Tesla employees who feel like now they got to sleep on the assembly line or be considered a slacker for them, that's hell. The right to disconnect is important, but so is the right to leave. If the boss doesn't power off after hours, the employees won't feel like they can either. Isn't that right, Sarah Huckabee Sanders?